Hey guys, so you have a court date coming up and you understand that either the courthouse or your particular judge requires you to wear a mask. How do you get ready for that? And let me say this at the beginning. I understand that for some reason a mask is very triggering for people. So you have people on the left say, oh, Trump is Satan and he's killed 200,000 Americans because he's incompetent. And then on the right, you have people say, oh, this is an infringement on my rights and and these are ineffective and it doesn't matter. Let me say this. That's not what this video is about, okay? I'm talking about what do you do when there's a rule in court and you have to be there in court and in particular that you have to speak. So maybe you're in trial and you're giving testimony or maybe it's a hearing where the judge is going to ask you questions and you know you have to wear a mask. Well, my suggestion is that you've got to practice that. You have to rehearse that. And I'll talk a little bit about the difference between those two. But again, let me say this. I, people will put comments in or people will contact me and say, well, I refuse to wear a mask. I, no judge can make me. Well, I can't say as a lawyer, I'm going to walk into a courtroom in a t-shirt and shorts. Now, I may have the best legal arguments, the best case. Nobody's better than me. And the judge is going to say, get out of here. Okay. And guess what? If I'm not there, I lose. Okay. And so we have to follow the rules. So if the rule is that you can't smoke in a courtroom, guess what? We can say, oh, that's a terrible infringement on my rights. I don't care what we say. If you light up a cigarette, you get kicked out. If you're not there in court, you lose. Okay. So if you say, well, I want to talk on my phone on speakerphone. Okay. And the judge says, Nobody can have a phone on in here. Well, I think I should be allowed to have my phone. I must check Twitter, or TikTok, or whatever. Well, guess what? You get kicked out. So let's move beyond that. Now, you understand that your judge or the courthouse requires you to wear a mask and you have to speak. What do you do? Well, my suggestion is practice and rehearse that. So what do I mean? Well, practice is, in this context, I generally mean, Figure out what you're going to say. Maybe you're making a presentation. Maybe you're being questioned, but just think through it, okay? But rehearsal is where you try to duplicate the circumstances as closely as possible. So I'm sitting down as I'm doing this video. Well, if I'm rehearsing an opening statement, a closing argument, cross-examination, and I know I'm going to be standing, well, then I want to rehearse it while I'm standing. If I'm in state court, and this is not always true, but the, I'm going to give you some generalization. In state court, generally, we do not have to stand behind a lectern, okay? In the way I was taught, in the way that I teach people, in the way that I do it, I hate lecterns, podiums, whatever you want to call it. I don't want anything between me and whoever I'm trying to convince, okay? And so in state court, I can wander all around the courtroom as I'm doing a cross-examination, direct examination, opening, closing, whatever I'm doing. I have the freedom to move around. In federal court, a lot of times, you got to stay behind that lectern or that podium. And, I mean, if you stray without permission, it's like guys in black clothes drop from the ceiling, they grab you off to an island, they waterboard you, okay? Maybe not exactly that, but a lot of federal judges are very serious about it. You do not wander around the courtroom. You stay right behind that lectern. Well, again, if I know I'm in federal court, and I can't move from behind that lectern, well, then I don't want to rehearse what I'm doing while I'm wandering all around my office or a conference room or whatever it might be. So you want to try to duplicate it. So what does this have to do with the mask? Well, if you've never spoken with a mask on, and I'm talking about where maybe you have to project your voice a little bit. Maybe it's not just for a couple minutes, but it's you know 10 minutes or 20 minutes or 30 minutes. You've never done that with a mask. You don't want the first time to be when you're on the witness stand or when the judge is asking you questions or you're making arguments in court. You want to rehearse by putting on a mask and doing that before you get to court so that it's not a surprise to you. And, you know, I'll say this. I mean, I go back to that federal and state court, which again, it's a little bit of a, exaggeration between the two courts, but there's a lot of truth to it. Again, if, if I know I'm in state court and I can wander all around, well, that's going to affect the way that I ask questions. I may go to one spot 
when I ask a particular type of question and then I may sort of come back to the center and maybe I go over here for a different type of question. And so I use my body as sort of an anchor when, although I'm not you know, broadcasting this or saying now I'm moving over to the part about damage it, but doing that, it helps the jury to understand it. Well, if I'm in federal court and I can't do that, I don't need to spend time or that doesn't need to be part of my presentation because I can't do it. So again, figure out what you can do and then practice it, rehearse it. And the way that I define the difference is practice it might be a little piece of it. Like let's say I have a 20 minute closing argument. I might say, well, let me practice the first five minutes over and over and over. Rehearsal is where you start at the beginning, you go all the way to the end, even if right here you mess up, you keep going. Because when you're live in court and you mess up, you can't go, oh wait, judge, let me start all over from the beginning. No, you just gotta do it. So again, rehearsal, you wanna be as, as closely as possible to the actual situation you're going to be in. So if you're wearing a mask, put on a mask. You know, I'll say this, I hate wearing a tie. I think the only time you'll see me with a tie on a video is maybe I'm going to court and I happen to have a few minutes. I'm like, oh, let me bang out a quick video, okay? I mean, as I'm walking out of the courthouse, I'm like tearing that tie. I hate ties, but you know what? If I wanna do the best opening or the best cross-examination or the best closing, I'm gonna wear a tie, okay? I'm going to duplicate things as much as I can so that that rehearsal from beginning to end is as closely aligned as possible to what the actual situation will be. So again, go back to the mask. Whether you like wearing a mask, I don't know anybody who likes wearing a mask, but whether you like it or don't like it, if your court requires it, and, and some courts require you to wear a mask the whole time, others will say, well, the lawyer who's examining the witness, as long as you stay over here, so again, that sort of affects whether you're walking around, and the witness, on the witness stand, they can have their mask off. But again, you need to know with your particular court. But if you have to wear a mask while you're going to be speaking, then practice it. You know, if you don't, the first time you really try to talk a little bit, you know, as you breathe in, the mask kind of goes, you need to be aware of that, okay? Find a comfortable mask. And so th this video is about a mask, but really it's a broader message to say, when you're going to be in court, try to rehearse things as closely as you can to how they will actually be, okay? So we might do a sort of a role playing with a client where I say, look, I'm gonna be the defense lawyer, okay? And I'm gonna cross examine you. And so I start and the rules of that, they can't go, oh wait, well, John, let me ask you, like, no, 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 I'm not John. I'm the mean defense lawyer, okay? We're gonna do this for 10 minutes or 20 minutes or 30 minutes. And, and we're gonna record it and we're gonna go back and look at it. You have to see how you do sort of in a real situation. So whether it's a mask, whether it's wearing a tie, whether it's being stuck behind a lectern or a podium or whether you can wander around, try to duplicate that as much as possible and that will make your, whatever it is you're doing, your testimony, your presentation, it'll make it as good as you possibly can make it. Okay, thanks for watching this video and I'll catch you in the next one, bye-bye.